So anyone even remotely inversed in the world of gaming knows all about a popular streamer by the name of Dr. Disrespect. Now, I'm going to be completely upfront and honest with you guys. I, I don't follow the guy. I never followed him. I knew of him. I've seen clips. I am a gamer. I'm not oblivious to who he is or why he's so popular. But in case you guys don't know, Dr. Disrespect was one of the biggest video game streamers literally in the world. I personally never understood his, uh, I guess, his thing. He never appealed to me, but that doesn't matter. Once again, these guys in these privileged situations that get to make all this money and clout and attention, but for some reason they cannot. And I'm starting to think that it's all a part of the deal for money and fame and clout. But they cannot seem to stop talking to minors. It is mind-blowing. You have a, this guy's in his 40s. He has a wife and kids, okay? And back in, I believe it was 2017, Dr. Disrespect had gotten randomly banned and removed off of Twitch. It was like the biggest gaming news of the year and nobody had answers as to why. And Dr. Disrespect played it down. He played down the situation. He never came out and said exactly what happened, okay? So I'm assuming there was a bunch of NDAs. People couldn't talk about it. On June 21st, an allegation of sexual misconduct against prominent live streamer Dr. Disrespect set the gaming world on fire. In the days since, it's become apparent that Beam's alleged misconduct had become an increasingly open secret within the industry. So that means some of your favorite content creators and streamers knew about this and kept it a secret. This is what they do. They all protect each other. It is insane to me. And it's also insane to me how this dude was lying to the public and pretending that he did nothing wrong, that he had absolutely no clue and no idea why Twitch banned him the whole time. He's just another another pedo and yes it this situation irks me because there's people out here who like put their everything on the line for the for the for for the chance to be in a situation like this guy and these people never make it such as myself i tried to do twitch for some time you know it is what it is i didn't make it it, it is what it is and these guys get into these privileged positions and they never cease to fail everybody. I, it, and the fact that people knew about it and they kept it a secret. This is what happens when when money, when money is at stake. These people will sell their souls all for a bag. And the, the part that makes me even angrier is that he he got banned in 2020. So, and they kept it on the hush hush, okay? And then he just popped back up out of nowhere and he regains all his money, endorsement, clout, etc. Et and, and it's like Twitch knew what he was doing. This dude had a second opportunity to get the bag. Now, if he was smart, he should have. He he knew these allegations were going to come to light. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe his ego is that big. But I would assume he took that that money from his second stint and probably invested it. It's just crazy to me. that the, How hard is it to be in a privileged position and not mess it up by talking to a child? So many of these people just truly don't deserve the position that they're in. I don't care. You can call me a hater. I'm not hating on anybody who's down to touch a child. Like, come on, dude. You're a whole 40-year-old man with a wife and kids, bro. You got money. You got, you have it. If you were going to be cheating on your wife, why are you doing it with a kid? I don't understand, man. I just don't understand. Man, how are y'all feeling about this whole Dr. Disrespect situation, man? Are y'all just disgusted? Are y'all as disgusted as I am? Are y'all still rocking with this dude? There can be no way that you guys are still rocking with this dude. I mean, I wasn't rocking with him to begin with. I always thought the guy was just corny. Something about the glasses, the wig, the whole persona thing. Like, it just never appealed to me. I thought it was pretty corny and now i'm seeing that 
I was absolutely correct. This dude was truly a cornball and went out extremely sad. But you know what? I'm glad it came out in the open. And it is what it is. I I hope this dude, he, honestly, he needs to do jail time. But, hey, man, it is what it is. I hope he doesn't uh, come back in the limelight. Make room for somebody else, man, because you didn't deserve it. So, please like the video. Get in the comment section, you know. Subscribe to the channel, and if you don't, at least leave a like. It's going to help my video and help my channel grow. And until next time, it's your boy C-Wavy. I'm out. Hey,